Hi, we're Team Artificially Intelligent from Deep Run High School. I'm Adam. I'm Abe. I'm Rana Joy. I'm Varinci. And I'm Colin. And today we are going to be talking about the effect of COVID-19 on the collective mental health of our communities. So why mental health? One of my friends has been greatly impacted by the pandemic. Their parents unfortunately lost their jobs because of COVID, which led to them getting a divorce. My friend already had anxiety and their parents' divorce caused it to get worse. They now struggle talking to people and even just getting through daily life in these times. To top it all off, my friend's story sadly isn't unique. It's actually one that is common across the millions of American families that are suffering from more anxiety as a result of COVID. Mental health is an important topic that affects the way we think, feel, and act on a daily basis. However, it's a field that has largely been left aside in scientific research because of its subjective nature. But it plays a key role in everyone's lives, so it is worth taking a look at the scope of the problem. The COVID-19 pandemic and the resulting economic recession have negatively affected many people's mental health and created new barriers for people already suffering from mental illness and substance use disorders. These shown statistics illustrate the impact of this growing crisis. COVID-19 and the resulting economic recession has impacted various income backgrounds in Virginia and in the United States. A report by, conducted by the KFF found that individuals who experienced house loss, job loss, and income loss reported that the worry and fear from COVID-19 contributed to various mental illnesses such as alcoholism, substance abuse, and chron uh, worsening chronic conditions. In addition, adults who lost their job were more likely to experience anxiety and depression disorder than adults who didn't lose their job. In response to the COVID-19 pandemic, mental health issues have risen across Virginia. Data collected in June of 2020 reveals that nearly 35% of adults in the United States have reported symptoms of anxiety or depressive disorder compared to the 11% in the previous year. The national trend has been largely similar to that of the state of Virginia, where the reported percent of adults with anxiety or depressive disorders is around 35%. On top of traditional statistical methods, we use sentiment analysis on tweets from within the Commonwealth. We created a library that downloads recent tweets from any location and plots the change in emotion over time using a machine learning model. This gives us a raw basis for how people in the Commonwealth are feeling at a given time. We can use live sentiment tracking on Twitter to assess the mood of the public on a wider scale. This will give us insight into data that may not be collected through traditional survey methods. We believe this technology has a lot of promise in assessing the mood of a given population. COVID-19 and the resulting lockdown has caused increased anxiety and depressive symptoms. As you can see, there's a clear upwards trend as the line of best fit has a positive slope. So, what can we do to solve or at least alleviate the growing problem of mental health in Virginia? Many people in Virginia who need mental health care or substance abuse treatment don't have access to the proper health professionals or facilities near them. As of June 2020, less than half of Virginians have had their mental health needs met. This represents a significant disparity between the number of individuals that need mental health care and the available resources in their region. To solve the issue of access, Virginia needs around 100 mental health practitioners across the state to remove health shortages. This map shows the health professional shortage areas across the state. The darker regions of the map indicate regions with greater priority or need for mental health professionals. One way we can address the problem of mental health shortages is by offering a greater number of scholarships and loan repayment programs for students and practitioners in the field of men mental health. Thank you for watching our presentation.